Right. I've passed the turnings to go up the gorge and to go up the alternative route to Pretty, which I've already done. Um, I'm going on the lower route. One of these lovely creations was um, damaged earlier. There for the tiger. He seems to be okay. I bet if you go up there you can see over the gorge. Looks like people do, don't they? Go up there and have a look. I can't be bothered. I'm not going to. I've been attacked and bitten already. I've got a bite already on my arm there. See it? That red mark? There's a black midge with a great big proboscis just bit me then. An old looking tree. Yeah, there's some sort of evidence of a wall or something once here. And there would have been bears and tigers roamed this way in the past, of course. For real. Like I said, I haven't done this bit before. The stream's very dried up, isn't it? Not a soul in sight. Apart from... I should have brought my antihistamine cream. They keep getting me these measures. Over the foot footbridge. So they've even put a map reference on there for you. Look. So when you look at your map, you know exactly where you are. And if you've gone past the gorge, you'll know it. just good to know all the different routes. Very old looking mossy tree that fell over once and has been covered in moss now. Yeah, apparently you can park around here somewhere so it's always handy. I say I did want to bring Zara out. <coughs> or the girls. Or Jack and Lucy, whatever. And we just wanted it to park. Rather than expecting them to walk from Wales. <laughs> Although, of course, they can do it. They'd be bigger. They'd be able to do it. And there'd be me that will be struggling. <sighs> now, so we've got a choice here. Let's hope that... Uh, the choice is correct. Sorry, I nearly fell then. I had a midge after me. I used to use my ponytail to shake it off. Car park pointing that way. Now I think if you go that way, I know where that comes out. That bypasses the gorge and comes out further where I would have gone, where I've been before. That leads you that way, so pretty. That is one of the theories. But of course, not having come down the other way, it could be that I do have to go that way. That's what I'm saying. I've often had to backtrack. Well, you do when you're exploring. And I'm not following a map. Not a detailed one. Of course, everyone's got their technology with them now. Um, and it has proved to save people's lives. 14 schoolboys and two teachers nearly perished the other day. I can't remember where it was. Sussex somewhere, I think. Um, they, were the, they were caught out by the tide. It was their mobile phones. The torches on them allowed the lifeboatmen and rescuers to, to rescue them. Plus, the, you can phone out. There were signals. In that case, they're very good. I mean, I've got my mobile on me. It gives off a signal. You can find me on it. 
Right now, we're still exploring, folks. We've just done a thing like that, so this would still be a nice walk to do. But of course, it's very steep if you want to see the gorge. Now, this is where I have to make a decision whether to go, I go up there or carry on. Because there's no, it could be that if I want to go to Pretty that way, you see, there's no sign on there now. So you don't really know whether you've got to go up there or up there. So what I'm going to do is it could be that I've got to go up there. See, there's some steps going up, see? There's some steps there. It could be that's the other route back to Pretty. Because the sign to the car park is now gone. Right, turn off a minute. I'm gonna get what I'm gonna do before I start climbing up anywhere. I'm going to find where the car park is. It could be that this isn't the way to the car park. The signs have gone, you see. This is what happens if they don't come out. Some somebody plays a game and they remove the signs, they turn them around the other way. It does happen. So I wouldn't have thought you could bring your car up here. So I, I'm, I'm looking for the boundaries again. And obviously I'd like to see where those steps went. So when you're on your walk, you can't think, oh, I'm just walking from A to B. You've got to allow for diversion. This is diversion. And that's why I thought about going the other way, coming down. Um, we'll see. We'll see where this takes us. So it could be that this is Deer Leap Lane here. Which is what I've got to get on eventually anyway. Yes, here's Deer Leap Lane, look. But I can't see no car park, can you? This is Deer Lean Lake. If I just walked up this lane now, I'll, I'll get to where I want to be anyway. See, because this hasn't led to the car park, has it? See what I mean? That takes you up to where I've got to go. And here's Ever Gorge. See? So what we're going to do, rather than go up those steps, I expect this will take us the same way. Just avoid in the road, basically. This looks like a track. <laughs> right, over and out for now. I always like it when things don't go to plan because of incompetency. The signed car park disappeared. No signs showing us where those steps went, but given choices. See? <laughs> right, looks like I've got to go up a bit, so... I think this will lead to where those steps went up. Over and out.